Hello and welcome back to another Python Q&A. Got a question from Omar. How can we read and write to a COM port, serial port, and how can we m manipulate the data in bin binary format bit by bit? Is there a module to facilitate this work? Well, yes, there is. <clears throat> like Python, there's always something for something. All right, so I'm going to give you a brief overview of this because I got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to get you fired up and running. Uh, hopefully, I can do a full tutorial on this in the future. All right, so first thing we need to do, um, anytime I'm working with a, a package, uh, I like to put it in a virtual environment. So let's go ahead and create a folder. So we'll do uh, make there, and we'll just call it serial. All right. Uh, we're going to change into that serial, and then we're going to do um, virtual env. This will create our virtual environment. Once it does that, we'll get and activate our virtual environment. And we'll do um, source bin activate. All right, so um, let's go ahead and import serial because this is the mo uh, the package that will. Um, whoops, that's not exposed. No, we got to install it first. So pip install pi serial. All right, so this will install the package that allows you to work with your ports. Um, and then we'll just do, uh, where am I at here? All right, so the first thing we'd like to do is see what um, ports are available to us. So we can do that um, using this command, Python m. Uh, serial dot tools dot um, now I'm drawing a blank I don't remember what it is uh, list underscore ports I believe and there we go I got um, one port it's my Bluetooth incoming port now I don't have anything else set up but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can like write to the port also how to check if the ports open so let's just go ahead and uh, fire up our interpreter so let's just do uh, Python 3 and I'm just gonna clear my screen and then we're gonna import serial all right and then we'll do um, let's do s is equal to serial dot uh, serial and I shouldn't have cleared my screen because I don't remember what the path is to uh crap all right hold on i need the path so we'll go ahead and put that last command back in i'm gonna go ahead and copy this right here i need the path to my port there so then now we'll fire up the interpreter and we'll do import serial again and then we'll do um s is equal to serial dot uh serial and put our port in there and next thing we want to do is see what port we have open so we can do a, a print function here and do s dot name and that will return our port so there's our port uh, another thing we could also do is uh, see if it's open so we can say s dot is underscore open it's true so it's open um, so if it's open, then we can pro then we can write to it. So we can do uh, s dot write woo, write, and then it has to be binary. So we'll say hello, Omar, just like that, and we wrote ten characters or ten bytes, and um, now we can go ahead and close the port. If you don't close the port, it's going to stay open. So s close. Well, close like that and then let's see if s is open still to make sure it did close it is false it's not open um so base that's the basics of it uh this package is very large so uh like i said it's called um pi serial uh go ahead and check it out if you have any more questions or you want to see something more sp specific let me know i will uh, try to do one for you uh, sorry, I'm, I'm uh, short on time today. So, uh, hope this helps, Omar. See you in the next tutorial.